Brand new to the Corel Draw X5 suite is Corel Connect. Corel Connect is very much like Internet Explorer, except it's designed to help you find digital content and display that for you so that you can choose it for whatever the design process is that you're working through. Based on the options that you choose on the left here, Connect will search even based on keywords or simply allowing you to navigate through folders. First of all, let's navigate the X5 DVD. We'll simply click the little arrow to break down into the major folders and let's go into the clip art folder. Have a look inside of the animals folder and let's double click on birds. After a few seconds of searching your DVD, we will begin to see thumbnails populate the preview pane. Now to see a larger display of these thumbnails, just move the zoom slider to the right. For an even larger display, hover your mouse over any one of the thumbnails and you'll see a nice crisp display of that image with information about that image. It's really very, very simple. Well, this process, of course, applies the same as if we were to go inside of the Photos folder and look at some photos. But what I really want to highlight to you is the power of search. I'm going to come up here in Search and type in Landscape. Now I need to highlight to you, our search term and the results that we see are determined by which of these buttons we have turned on. And right now we have all four. Folders means if a folder containing the name landscape exists, display the folder. Of course, vector and bitmap, clip art, fonts, etc. So let's do a search. The reason I did this search, of course, is to demonstrate all of this to you. So here we see a folder with the name landscape and we can see some vector images. As you can see, they are CDR files and we've got photographs, bitmap images as well. Well, should we actually find that one of these images suits the design process or the reason we're looking for digital content, we can select that image, such as this one here. First of all, we'll hover and see the, the pixel size, the DPI, the file size, and the color space. If it suits, simply select the image and drag the image down here into the tray area. Now the tray area is a very powerful addition that we're going to learn a lot about in a moment. But before we do, let's just do one more search. But this time, I'm going to extend the search parameter to my pictures. And what we'll do this time is search on the term butterfly and hit enter. The results this time reveal for us a lot of vector images and as we move down the page we can see additionally some photographs and pictures that we selected we can see the results coming from there as well. Well again should we want one of these pictures say for example I like the look of that one I can gain some information by hovering then simply click and drag down onto the tray area. And now we're going to really look at the power of this tray area. I can actually open either of these images straight into Corel Draw or Photo Paint. Or I can select an image, for example, and simply navigate to the source location. And as you can see, we've opened up on the DVD in the location where we can find that picture. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually open my picture in Photo Paint. So click. And just like that, our image opens in Photo Paint, ready for us to go to work. Now here's where it gets exciting. If we come up to Window and down to Dockers, we can turn Connect on inside of Corel Photo Paint. And now we have the same tray with the additional piece of clip art, the same ability to search up here as you can see, select where you want to search, etc. And it's all now interacting between both Corel Connect and Connect that we're now running in Photo Paint. Let me quickly do a search on the word bird. In the same way, I'll start to see a display, and of course, I can increase the size of my docker so that I can see more of a display. And in fact, I can undock the tray and I can redock that in any location that I want to work with it, revealing more of a preview pane here for me to be able to work with. 
Do bear in mind that once you've actually opened Connect and you've seen the tray, they begin to work independently. The first time they will open as you saw, but after this you'll need to open Connect and turn the tray on and off. See that? I can turn the tray off and I can turn the display of the tray back on again. But here is where it gets really interesting. And say for example I like that one. I can click and drag that piece of clip art across to the tray. Are you ready? Now if I go back to Corel Connect, look at that. That piece of clip art now displays back in uh, side of Corel Connect. So we've got this real interaction going on between programs. Well let's say that I now select this image and I want to open it in Corel Draw. Well of course I can click open in Corel Draw just as we did earlier for Photo Paint, but I want to show you another way. So I'm actually going to open Corel Draw first. Now I've done this because I want you to see I can simply select my image and drag straight onto the Corel Draw interface. I could do that with Photo Paint as well if I wanted to. This is really advantageous because I might have Corel Connect open on one part of my monitor or on dual monitors on one side and Corel Draw on the other. I can use Connect to keep a track of all of my digital work and of course be working back and forth. Well finally, you guessed it, of course I can open Connect in Corel Draw. Up to Window, come down to Dockers and choose Connect. Now in the same way as we learnt in Photo Paint of course, the tray is interactive with Connect and also between Corel Draw and Photo Paint. So anything we do on that tray is going to appear in each program if we have the tray displayed. As we learnt in Photo Paint, of course we can redock in any alternate location in any way we want to reveal more of the docker to search with etc. Well this is a powerful way to handle your digital content. Well done Corel, I think it's a brilliant product.